I was browsing AliExpress during this last Black Friday for some good deals. I found a Creality Sprite Extruder Pro Kit for a good price so I ordered one. I also found a Dual Access Kit and an enclosure for my Ender 3 V2. Fast forward a little more than a month and all the stuff have arrived. So let's get these upgrades installed and get some prints done to compare the before and after on the quality between these two types of extruders. Going to be using the same files for both extruders to see how big of a difference the change of extruders will be. The tests I will be doing is a flow tower, an overhands test, a wobble tower, finish quality with a 3D benchy and a retraction test with both PLA and TPU. With the overhang test I didn't expect the fans different orientations to make such a big difference in the quality of overhangs. Especially after reading how bad people online were saying the sprite extruder's fan was. But comparing it to the Ender 3S original fan this is very good. As you can see there was way more stringing with the sprite extruder, while using the same file for both tests. I did print one more with a way lower value for the retraction distance. And the difference is very noticeable now.
When printing with TPU I've noticed it's kinda difficult to get it printed well when using a bone tube. Then again using the same file with the sprite extruder wasn't that much different until I again lowered the retraction distance and then it was great. So is this worth the cost? That depends. If you have an Ender 3 or Ender 3 V2. I'd say it might be more affordable if you can find it on sale too. Then buying a new printer just to get a direct drive extruder. If you don't need another printer anyway. And if you want to tinker with your 3D printer. Then it's a great and straightforward installation to get it up and running. You will also be able to gain some higher print speeds with a direct drive extruder. So it will be faster than the stock extruder too.